Hey people, welcome to the channel, and in this case, talking about the limited edition Mora Knife for 2024. Yes, limited edition, costs thousands of dollars. No, of course not, it's under 10 bucks. I think I paid 9 bucks for it, but man, it truly is a limited edition. Check out in Mora Gniva website where they explain that this is a 2024 limited edition Mora with the traditional colors of the indigenous Swedish people and that's why you have the Dala red and ivy green colors that we appreciate. So this would be the, the colors of the typical clothing of, of, of these folks. And yeah, but other than that, it's your same old Mora. Really nothing, uh, nothing beyond that. And why should there be more? This is a great knife as it is. This is your basic Mora. Literally, this is the Mora basic. And yeah, let me just show you that. Just so to confirm it. Mora, okay. Basic 546. Dala, red and green. And this would be your basic Mora. Just... 511, okay? Still the same knife. Well, this is not, it's not the same because this is, uh, I, I got the one in stainless steel. This one is in stainless, in stainless. Uh, and, and this other one is, is in carbon steel. So as you see, it's pretty much the same knife, only the one being in carbon, the other one in stainless. Which one is better? Yeah, let me answer that for you right now. Is stainless is better. Uh, why? No, carbon steel is so much better. No, it's, it's really not and edge retention and most of that is gonna be pretty much the same thing. And yeah, maybe a little bit more uh, toughness uh, with, with a carbon seal, but really, basically the same thing for most practical uses. The big difference, the big advantage being that the stainless seal is a lot easier to keep clean. And for a knife that's not a giant ass a monster of a blade for chopping and killing dinosaurs. Uh, this is a kind of, of survival knife you actually end up using a lot. And if you end up using it a lot, it means it's gonna be using for some of those tasks of preparing food, cutting meat, preparing sandwiches, cutting some you know bread or whatever it is that you need the blade for. And whenever you do that, you will appreciate that it's not um, uh, a carbon steel blade. I mean, it now looks exactly the same. Uh, but I have a, a bunch of these similar knives, and let me tell you, well, I have one of these, the, the Halta Forge, which is somewhat of the same, the, the, the same sort of knife, and this is brand new. But the I have another one that I use like a like a gardening knife and toolbox knife, and I just beat the living shit out of that thing, and it has a very decent patina going on. It looks pretty cool. It looks nice, and if you take care of it, it will be just fine. Just clean it every once in a while and if it gathers a little bit of rust you clean the rust off and you oil it again and once you sharpen it it's perfectly functional there's no pitting no nothing whatsoever but all of that patina all of that like micro uh, etching on, on the metal because of juices and acids and rusts and corrosion and all of that stuff means that bacteria and all of that crap you don't want there in your blade is a lot more likely to stay there and maybe you know catch a yeah get food poisoning or stuff like that so this is a lot cleaner this is a lot more simple and that's what you want in your survival knife now uh, besides the point of this being a, a limited edition which I like it. I mean, that's cool. I, it's cool that they do every year. They do a, a knife, and especially because it's sell, selling. It, because they don't go stupid with it. They're not selling it for like thirty bucks. It's the same price. Why not? It just encourages us uh, knife lunatics to yeah add one more to the collection. I have enough of them, but you know what? You make a new one this year. I'll support your business. I'll get it i'll do videos like i'm doing now talking about these things which i don't get a cut of this in, in any way i'm not sponsored by mora uh, talking about that maybe I'll, I'll just drop the link there in amazon for whatever mora is available and if you want to buy it that does help out the channel because there's a a, a, a little um, a, a little bit that we get through the affiliate program it does not change your price at all always keep that in mind whatever links i have to amazon the exact same price uh, but it does help out the channel, so yeah, by all means. The thing is, with these knives, there's just no competition. They are so damn good and so affordable that when you start looking around, I mean, there's the Backo knife, another brand that's 
very similar. You have the, the Stanley Fat Max. I bought a, a bunch of these because they were super cheap. Now, these are made in China. It actually says they are somewhere made in China, unless I'm crazy. But yeah, if I remember correctly, these are made in China. Now, these are stainless steel, and to be completely honest, it's a bit of a nicer grip. It has a bit more of this rubbery material. The, the retention is a little bit more aggressive. I think this is a great knife. I also like the angle. I, I'm, I'm very fond of the idea of being able to put pressure right on the edge and maximizing that force, and this allows you to do that. Um, so this is not a bad knife at all. It's actually very good. But there's something about Mora. There's something about uh, a, such a traditional, high-quality brand uh, with their products still being made in Sweden with the quality controls and standards that they have us used to versus something that is, well, yeah, at times maybe even cheaper than the already cheap Mora, but made in China, and it's not the same thing. Halta Force is very close. I'm sure these are made in China as well. At the time, I thought these, was, these were made in Sweden, which, I don't know. Let me know in the comments if I'm missing anything. I thought they were made in Sweden, but not seeing anything, I'm inclined now to think that these are made in China. The quality is still very good. I have a bunch of these because I bought a, a number of them very cheap at like $3, 3 or $4. It was super affordable. Uh, and it's, again, very close. But there's something about Mora that you just don't have. Maybe one of the closest, and even if you go with our stuff, for example, in terms of folding knives, um, it's gonna be uh, quite a bit more expensive, and it's still not the the quality the, of, of Mora knives. Uh, and yes, they are on the small-ish side, and usually more of the a bushcraft crowd than the actual you know preparedness where like, modern survival preparedness uh, survivalist kind of folks which usually we like to have a little bit of a bigger knife one of the closest things to this would be the glock knife now closest when it was like 20 25 bucks now that they're going for like 30 dollars man you can buy yourself three moras for the price of one glock and what is it that it get better well more reach other than that Really, it's not a great chopper. I do have a bit more length, uh, and I like, like that. I, I think that may be important. This is not my favorite version. I like the one that is, you know, the straight spine. Um, and this may be a, a big advantage if you're using it for self-defense. At the same time, I don't, and the retention of this is, is a lot better. This is, will not go anywhere. This is just a little bit of pressure, but again, it is a tool. This is something that could be used for self-defense as well. Maybe you don't have the, the reach that I would like to have. I, I have another Mora that's a bit of a longer, the all-round Mora. I don't even think they're making it anymore. That was a badass knife that they were making. I wish they brought that again. Uh, maybe I have to send them an email. Maybe encourage them to make a, a color for the channel or something. Uh, yeah, I would love that. Now I'm thinking about it, I'll, I'll do just that. Anyway. You have a ton of knife for very little money, and other than the reach, and this being a military knife, and this being a, a tool that you find in more, most hardware stores, it, this has even a, 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 this is more comfortable. The grip is better. I mean, this is not exactly great, but this is better. Uh, it's more comfortable for using it for cutting. And besides that, the main thing is this is simply a better cutting tool. It has a better edge. It will cut better. It will carve wood better. It will do whatever cutting task you have in mind. It will just do it better than your a uh, cold steel, your cold steel, your your uh, Glock knife, which is intended as a bayonet and a, as a uh, as a military tool. Um, now, having said that, there's a reason why it cuts so well, and that's because of the traditional Scandi grind, which means that we have. Uh, a single bevel that goes all the way from the flat of the of the blade to the apex, right? So as you see, when you come close, there's just one bevel. It's just one, one bevel all the way through, right? And there, there you appreciate fully. So once you use this, and it will carve very well, it will cut very, very well. One of the best cutting knives uh, you will find, cutting better than knives that cost hundreds of dollars from brand name manufacturers, the Mora will cut better because of that Scandi grind. But it also means that once you want to resharpen it, you have to place the stone flat against that bevel and remove 
all of that material in that flat plane, right? In that, in that flat angle, removing it all. This is not the same. As you see, there's one main bevel and there's a secondary bevel. That secondary bevel is the one that goes straight towards the apex and that's the steel you need to remove. So sharpening that uh, Glock knife, it's gonna be a lot more it's gonna be a lot faster and a lot more simple because all you have to remove it is the metal from that bevel, that little line that's like one millimeter thick, right? Instead of removing something that is, I don't know, five millimeters thick, so all, all of that, it's gonna be taking a lot more time. I usually don't do that. I don't even bother with that because I, I will rather have uh, a secondary bevel, right? Yeah, and I don't have one of these that I've been using lately, but I'd rather have, a when, when I sharpen this kind of knife, for example, the one they sharpen that's very similar to this one, well, exactly the same as this one, I do a, a little secondary bevel. This one kind of has something going on there, it's shiny. Anyway, I'd rather have a, a little secondary bevel that makes the edge tougher. It will not be a, as sharp, the difference will be almost non-existent, but it will be a little bit easier to sharpen, and in theory, a little bit tougher as well. The sharper edge is usually less tough, but it's also the case. And sometimes there's confusion with this, the idea of, oh yes, it's, it's a bigger angle, so it's tougher, and it's gonna cut more. No, it will not. The smaller angle will cut for a longer amount of time because it needs to lose more metal from that apex until, until it reaches a point of thickness where it's not cutting anymore. So, wide angle, yeah, it will be tougher, okay? Smaller angle, it won't take a much of a beating, and it may dent or break or chip away, but it will cut better and will be cutting for a, a, a longer period of time. That's why usually in you know, hard use, work nice, usually you find a little bit more of an angle. If it's something more of a, of, of a carving knife or woodworking knife, maybe they go with a, with a Scandi, keeping in mind that you won't be abusing that a whole lot. Guys, that's basically it. I hope you enjoyed this little video and talking about the things we're passionate about. Remember to subscribe to the channel, guys. That's always really appreciated. And I know that a ton of you guys have not subscribed. Keep that in mind because it does really help out. So see you next time. Take care.